The NC's National Working Committee has appointed a new youth league leadership structure in a bid to force it to or allow it to hold an elective conference by June of this year. Ngabam Klaouli has been removed as National Youth League task team convener. She's now been replaced by Kola Ngola, who joins us tonight to talk about the way forward. Kola, very good evening to you, sir. Grateful for your time. So these changes then now made to this interim structure responsible for leading or taking the youth league to conference in the first half of this year, were they absolutely necessary? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Tembekile. Uh, we appreciate that you had us uh, this evening. Uh, let's uh, greet you and your viewers. Yes, uh, I think the SG of the ANC has uh, clearly outlined the purpose of why there was a reconfiguration. And remember, uh, then NYTT that was led by Comrade uh, Nungabam Shaoli was not dissolved. There was just a reconfiguration because more than any time else, uh, there was a feel by the National Working Committee of the ANC that uh, they, they, they are actually too much focusing inwardly instead of looking um, outwardly uh, whilst uh, young people are uh, suffering on the ground. So it was necessary, but the main item in the agenda is to take the conference, the, the, the Youth League conference uh, mm -hmm. at the end of June and the beginning of July. So, so it was necessary. So that uh, we put new blood, uh, we put those who we think that as the ANC are going to discharge the duty without uh, squabbling amongst each other. And just so on the squabbling then, there have been reports of a deeply divided NTT, um, phrases such as self-interest have come out a lot in the reporting over recent days. Are the people who've now been removed from the structure that's now been reconfigured, are they the ones who are driving the division and self-interest? No, we can't say that. Remember, we are not here to uh, uh, rejuvenate squabbles amongst our own, but what is important is that the ANC has noted that there are squabbles within the NYTT and therefore, there is a need for the NWC to attend to that, and it did. Then we were appointed. If you still remember, the Secretary General of the ANC has made it clear in the press briefing of the ANC that they've decided to appoint a, 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 a reconfigured NYTT so as, as, as to ensure that the conference sits. We don't want to point fingers. Ours is to take care from where they left so that we are able to fast track the process of convening the conference of the youth league as determined in the terms and, and conditions, terms of reference mm. by the National Working Committee of the ANC. Uh, we can't uh, uh, confirm nor deny any of uh, whether those who were removed were part of the squabbles or not. But remember, some of us were not even there. So we don't even know who did what and who did what. But we're just thankful to the ANC that uh, it has given us this responsibility to take the battle that was uh, uh, that has been left by uh, the NYTT of Comrade Mshlauli. And uh, we did today have a meeting with them, and uh, we thank them for the uh, progress they have made in terms of establishing structures, branches, uh, regions, and uh, some provinces. So our own work now is to focus solely on convening the conference and uh, attending to the challenges right. that were faced before we arrived. But to do that successfully, you would have to make sure that there aren't people among you who have vested interests, who are divisive, who may in fact derail that very mission, no? Look, we, we can't, we can't uh, uh, deny young people who are part of the structures their right to contest uh, or to, to elect. But uh, what, what is quite important is that the new restructured or reconfigured NYTT uh, is ready to take its task. And we can confirm to you and every young person across the breadth and length of South Africa that this NYTT that has been reconfigured will indeed take the Youth League into conference. And uh, those who think that they are available for them to be elected will be allowed to do that in terms of the constitution of the, of the ANC Youth League. So we, we, what we won't tolerate is squabbles, uh, is uh, halting the process of convening conferences, uh, but everyone will be allowed a fair chance, an equitable chance, to go and contest if 
they are nominated by branches of the ANC clique. Mm. So we won't tolerate any form of squabble. Uh, people must focus on uh, rejuvenating, reimagining the African National Congress Youth League. What does it mean people. when you say you will not tolerate any form of squabbling? Are you going to then have those people basically removed, purged from the structure? No, we, we, we won't remove. Remember, we won't apply a blanket approach. Uh, in each and every structure, or in each and every uh, situation, we'll apply and attend to it in accordance to their own merits. So we won't have a blanket approach that, no, uh, yeah, we, we, we were going to deal with this uh, like this. So we're going to read each and every uh, problem and attend to it in accordance to their merits. But I can assure you, uh, if there is anyone who goes to an extent of halting uh, the Youth League from attending or from convening its own uh, national conference, that person will be attended to by the, 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 the newly reconfigured uh, NYTT. So we just promise that. We are not saying we're going to remove people, but we're saying anyone who is found to be part of the people who are taking uh, or derailing the progress of convening the Youth League Conference are going to be attended to. That's, that's, the, that's the promise that we wish to unequivocally make to all members of the ANC Youth League. Will the ANC Youth League hold a conference by June this year? Yes, it will. Uh, hold Successfully? Uh, it will have a, a legitimate, successful conference that will elect a leadership that is going to lead strategies of the African National Congress Youth League and the young people in general. We are confirming and uh, committing ourselves that we're going to convene that uh, national conference by the end of June. Uh, we have already started the work of assessing and verifying the structures from branch level uh, to uh, regions and provinces. Uh, we have already uh, undergo, we are already undergoing a process of even costing the, the, what uh, uh, will be the actual value of the conference. So there is no doubt that we are going to sit uh, that uh, conference uh, by the end of June and uh, until the first um, days of July. So we commit to everyone out there and want to call upon all members of the Youth League to cooperate with the process and ensure that they go and attend their own national conference that will elect their own leaders. Okay. We can't continue with the business unusual. We want the ANC Youth League to go back to its uh, uh, former glory. A, a quick final question, leader. just on the ANC Youth League going back to its former glory. Um, much has shifted in the political landscape of South Africa since the dissolution of the ANC Youth League, as many people knew it over a decade ago now. I, I wonder what form of Youth League you would want to see emerging from this conference, given that young people, especially black disenfranchised young people, have found other vehicles, other ways within which to champion their cause and have basically, to a degree, replaced what the Youth League says it stood for all those years ago. So how do you re reinvigorate what was, for all intents and purposes, a dead structure? Well, well uh, of course, that's what we're doing. Uh, ours is to actually create a fertile ground for the Youth League to make a produce that is going to attend to the issues that we have spoken about. Because you remember, there has been a, a, a distance between young people of South Africa and the African National Congress Youth League for quite a number of years now. And we can't expect that uh, the evolution of society will not affect uh, how we produce uh, uh, the leadership of the youth league. So when, when, when young people are electing their own leadership in the national conference, they indeed are going to look into various skills, a number of skills that are going to complement each other so that the youth league uh, leadership elected in that conference is able and capacitated to lead youth structures across the country. Ola Ngola, good to speak to you. Uh, currently heading up a task team, uh, basically a team of, uh, in the interim that's going to try and lead the ANC Youth League to its conference by end of June this year. Thank you so much for your time.